five deadly mistakes to avoid when buying a land in Nigeria this year. Number four will shock you. Are you ready? Let's go. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jeff Anose. I am your real estate consultant based in Enugu State, Nigeria. My goal on this channel is to help you make profitable and safe real estate deals in Enugu State, Nigeria, in Nigeria at large. In today's video, we are going to be talking about five common mistakes most people make and how to avoid it when buying land or property in Nigeria. Number one, not doing your due diligence. A lot of people buy property in Nigeria today for face value, especially those abroad. Because their brother, their sister, a friend, a, an uncle recommended this particular property, they just go ahead to buy without doing their due diligence. Your relatives may not know themselves, right? They may not know. It, the onus lies on you to do your due diligence. What kind of due diligence do you do? Please request for the survey of the property, for the, uh, for the surveyors of the land and go to the Ministry of Lands and make inquiry. Find out exactly the plot and the area, the, the general survey of the, of the property. Okay, Find that out and take it to the Ministry of Lands and do your due diligence. Research, ask questions and find out before putting your money, your hard-earned money, you know, on the property. Mistake number two, not conducting a physical inspection. Not conducting a physical inspection. Now, by physical inspection, it could be a virtual inspection, but by all means, get to the site and see it, okay? Now, you can send someone or you can go yourself, but by all means, please get there. Sometimes the way they describe the place may not be exactly how it is or sometimes the way the things they say, maybe the road to the place may not even be very good, may not be a, 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 a motorable road, right? So by all means, it's good you conduct your physical inspection. And besides, by the time you, you get to the land, you may even see some signs to show you that this land is not for sale, all right? You may see someone have put um, his bacons or something, right? Or even a signage showing this land is not for sale. You won't see that if you don't conduct a physical inspection of the property. And also, you should also you would also know if you like the place. Is a place that you want to live in or you want to do business with? It's important you do that. Mistake number three: paying cash. Now, this may sound like common sense. But we've had a lot of cases where clients doing transactions through a means that cannot prove your payment. So it's important that you pass all payments through the bank. And please request for a corporate account. If it's a, if it's a company request for a corporate account, don't pay money to the realtor. Please avoid paying money to the real estate agent or to your father or to your brother. Please try and pass the money through an account so that it is traceable. Now, you want to involve your families? Beautiful. They can go with the realtor to the bank and you make the transaction or you can send them the you know account number and then you make and then you make the transaction through the bank. You may also want to snap the transaction or video it. Okay, the realtor, the real estate company, if you're buying from one, will be happy to even do that video with you to prove that you are doing that transaction. Mistake number four, drum rolls. Now, before we talk about mistake number four. Please hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed yet to my channel and like this video if you are enjoying it so far. Also, let me know in the comments box if I missed anything, if I skipped anything or anything you want to, us to talk about on this channel. So mistake number four, going for the cheapest deals. Yes, I know that sounds somehow, but let me explain. Not all, some deals, some deals are too good to be real. It's important that you note that some lands are too cheap like they are so cheap you'll be wondering wow this is a fantastic deal now before you jump on the offer it's important that you do your due diligence like i said in, in step number one in the mistake number one please do your due, due, due diligence find out if that land is a free land find out if it's still under government acquisition what kind of title does the land have it's important you know those things please do your due diligence 
don't just jump on those offers like that all right so this is very important because a lot of people sell lands that are still under government acquisition and they give it titles like excision in process it may eventually be excised i did a video on that, on that up here please hit that i i or check in the, in the, in the description i'll leave a link there all right so I, um, um the land may be under government acquisition and you may not know you go and make a payment and a few years later the government comes and take away the land from you okay so that is the, that is what i mean by going for the cheapest deal so just do your due, due diligence and you will just be fine mistake number five buying through sentiments buying through sentiments now here is what i mean a lot of people again like I said earlier, buy true face value because my uncle said that or because my brother said that or because my mother said that you go ahead to buy. Please don't buy through sentiments. You do not make, you do not, you do not make your hard-earned money through sentiments as well. So it's important that you protect your hard-earned money and do not buy through sentiments. Please involve a realtor or involve a real estate company as much as you want the transactions to go through your, your family but please involve a professional maybe a professional lawyer or somebody so that the you, you can protect your interest and make sure that your hard-earned money is not lost i know i said five mistakes but let me add a bonus for you because i love you and i want you to have the best of real estate investments in nigeria all right so mistake number six not buying through a reputable company here's what i mean as much as you want to buy from an individual or or a family all right or a community i strongly suggest you buy from a company a real estate company for the following reasons number one the real estate company has a reputation to protect and i must add that not all real estate companies are genuine i did a video about genuine real estate companies you can check the eye icon there or check it in the comments below for that video. Not all real estate companies are genuine, and that is important to note. There are some genuine real estate companies, the ones I do transactions with, and the ones a lot of other people do transactions with. These people have a reputation to protect, and they must make sure that you get the best real estate deals. Also, they protect you from issues like encroachers, land encroachers, protect you from Omon Nile, they protect you from a lot of other issues that you would have faced otherwise if you bought from individuals or from a, a community. I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button there. If you've not subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell beside it so that you get to know whenever I release very educating videos like this. Until I come away next time, I'm Jeff Anozi. I'm a real estate consultant. If you buy from me, I make a commission. But the goal actually is to help you make very very informed real estate deals in nigeria enjoy a fantastic day and bye for now